Hi, my name is Alicia Cota. This is Bio 225, week seven. Today's date is 6-20-2018. And the experiment today is called Antibiotic Sensitivity Kirby Bauer Diffusion Test. In this experiment, or in this exercise, I will be performing a Kirby Bauer Diffusion Test with Staphylococcus epidermidis and three antibiotics, penicillin, Novobiosin and gentamicin. So um, I've gathered, I've cleaned my surface with 10% um, bleach, uh, diluted bleach, and then I have gathered all the material material listed for this experiment. Next, I used a permanent marker to. Uh, I poured my auger plate yesterday <clears throat> to prepare myself for the experiment today. Um, <clears throat> with a permanent marker, I've created three sections. They are labeled with the, um, the corresponding antibiotic. So this one's going to be NVB stands for the Novobiosin. The PNC is for penicillin. And then the GNT is going to be for gentamicin. So first what I'm going to go ahead and do is first flip the plate over. Have it open. Then I'm going to go ahead and have my pipette. It's sitting in alcohol. I'm going to make sure it's dry. Then I'll be collecting from my uh, the active culture by broth of, of Staphylococcus epidermidis. First, I'm going to sterilize the lid by passing it over a candle flame. Then I'm going to collect with the pipette. Point five ml. And then I will transfer the eight drops to my auger plate. And then I will dispose of this in the bleach, the pipette. Then I'm going to reflame my active culture and then recap. This will be placed in the refrigerator for future experiments. Then um, in the lab kit, I've been provided with an L-shaped uh, spreader. So when I open it, I have to make sure that um, with this, I'll be sure to only touch the long straight end. So I'll be grabbing that. And it's sterilized, uh, sterilized packaging. And then I'm going to use it to spread the broth around the agar, agar plate evenly. Just so that the bacteria gets all around the agar plate. And then I will place this in the bleach. Okay. And then now I'll allow my auger plate to sit like uh, undisturbed with lid side up approximately, approximately for one to two hours until the broth is absorbed by the auger. And then I will be performing the rest of the experiment.